In this video, I'm gonna talk about how I attended President's Club my first year as an account executive and then lessons learned from getting fired from the company shortly afterwards. Think about that. We went to Punta Mita, Mexico, $4,000 a night villa, stayed at the Four Seasons. I was the only employee to take their mom as the plus one. Incredible experience for her. I remember one of the evenings we were standing on the beach overlooking the rocky Pacific Ocean, the sun was setting, and I had the opportunity to introduce her directly to my CEO they shook hands and he recognized her while on stage giving a speech because she was literally the only mom on the trip. We created memories for a lifetime and if you've never had the chance to provide an experience like that to a family member, a friend, this video is gonna show you how because I want you to experience that firsthand. You're also gonna come away from this video with my five-step playbook for how I earned multi six figures income working in tech sales in my mid 20s. I've also put a special clip at the end of this video from me on President's Club. I was in our villa in the pool, infinity pool overlooking the Pacific Ocean, and I talk about an experience I had snorkeling, and I think that lesson really underpins what I'm gonna share with you here today. Smash the like button now if you are serious about going to President's Club. Step number one is to visualize yourself on the trip. And when I say visualize it, I mean set your phone background as the destination that you're going to go to. I mean, tell your friend or family member, hey, go ahead and book your calendar now. We're going to Costa Rica next year. We're going to Greece next year. We're going to Mexico next year. Hey, I bought you a pair of sunglasses because you're going to need it when we're on the beach. It's a level of conviction and visualization that you have already seen yourself there and thought about how it will feel when you're on the beach and you feel the sand in between your fingers. When you have one of the staff members at the Four Seasons Resort bring you a drink, when you're there saying, hey, give me the most expensive item on the menu because we are celebrating my success in the work I'm gonna put in day in and day out. Step number two is to set a clear sales target. Every morning before I would work, I would take out my notepad and I would write down, I have closed $300,000 in revenue this quarter. And by setting a clear objective, it gave me conviction what I was working towards. Most reps sit in a place of uncertainty, ambiguity, because they're given a target and they don't actually know what it means. They're working to reach their quota, not their potential. I never define myself by what I closed last quarter, last week. I always think what is possible for me to do today and what can I make happen and how is this gonna impact and benefit me in the future? And when I'm very clear on that number, that's much greater than my quota, you can do great things. For example, the year I qualified for President's Club, my annual quota was $350,000 of net new ARR, annual recurring revenue, and I went on to close over $960,000. Keep in mind, this was at age 25, 26, in my very first year in seat as an account executive. Think about this, my first nine quarters as an account executive, at the one software company I worked at my entire career, I closed $1.56 million in ARR. That you can do the average of that, and I still went on to get fired, so more on that to come at the end of the video. But bottom line, make sure you're writing down your sales targets, because if your quota is $100,000, quarterly quota, maybe your target is $200,000 of quarterly quota, and you're gonna write that down every day, and you're gonna think, okay, well, I need $600,000 in pipeline because that's 3X coverage. How many meetings do I need to set a week? How much activity do I need to put in? What inputs do I need to relentlessly focus on? And that takes us into step number three, which is when each and every day. It's not about what you did yesterday. It's not about what you're gonna do tomorrow. It's all about what you're gonna do today. You can listen to videos like this one and it's only gonna help you as much as you actually take action on the information. So when you listen to some podcast episode that fires you up, when you listen to some clip on TikTok that you say, man, I really learned something, it doesn't matter. All that matters is the inputs you do that lead to your success. What do I mean by that? Pipeline generation, pipeline health. The input for pipeline generation is activity. Cold calling, cold emailing, sending LinkedIn messages, whatever other collaboration with your marketing team that's gonna result in the actual output, which is the pipeline. You need meetings on your calendar, week in, week out. You need to be setting new meetings, and then you need to be working existing meetings, and that is the input for pipeline health, which means working your deals, advancing them forward to close. This looks like, what is your sales process? 
discovery, solution presentation, negotiation. How can you take the average close time of let's say 60 days of your company and condense it to 37, 39 days like me? This looks like while you're on the call, hey, let's go ahead and agree to a scheduled next event right now. Hey, rather than what's your availability next week, are you available to meet tomorrow afternoon? Hey, what is it gonna take for you to become a customer. Oh, you need to bring in your VP for a demo. Well, let's schedule that tomorrow. Are they available? Hey, your procurement, let's go ahead and start this contracting process now. Whatever you can do to win the day today and accelerate whatever you need to have happen to close revenue. That is all that matters in your pursuit to reaching President's Club. What number do you need to hit? And then what number are you actually gonna go hit? Which is gonna be much bigger than the number they tell you to hit because you work to reach your potential, not your quota. Step number four to help you with each of the previous three steps is to eliminate redundancy, eliminate inefficiency, and eliminate complexity. I used a lot of buzzwords there, but bottom line, I mean, how can you make yourself more effective? Think about your life inside the office. What time do you get in the office? What time do you leave the office? I'm not gonna sit here and say, hey, work 100 hours a week, although that will absolutely help you. Even if you aren't very good, you can just work long longer, make more calls, volume, that's gonna help. But there comes a point you run out of time, you need to increase your skill. So when you're in the office, what little tricks can you do? Rather than sitting in the cafeteria, warming up some unhealthy frozen food? Can you go to your desk, not even open your laptop and bang out 10 to 15 cold calls? Can you sit there and say, what are two hard things that I don't wanna do? Custom emails, for example, do a new territory plan, that if I do it, it's gonna, it's gonna really set me up for success. And it's just being on offense and not defense. A lot of reps that I would interact with are on defense because they're talking about activities that are not related to their success. For example, hey, did you see who got drafted number one last night in the NBA? Oh my gosh, the Mavericks lost last night, da da da, Mark Cuban's so stupid. It's talking about information that does not actually lead to closed revenue. So if you find yourself thinking about or talking about Anything that's not in relation to pipeline generation, pipeline health, or some sort of self-development, how you can be more effective with your skills, role-playing, then it doesn't really matter. It's just a complete and utter waste of time. In the fifth step, in order to make multi six figures and go to President's Club is to give back. You're gonna become so good that other people cannot ignore you. Internally, folks are gonna say, come speak with my team. For example, I was asked to speak in front of our entire corporate sales department. And I said, hey, I lost 50% of my pipeline in the first week but I still managed to hit my quota despite having literally 1.3X coverage on a $216,000 quarterly quota. And I basically showed up and, and shared exactly what I share with you in this video. And you may be thinking, well, it's so simple to set a target, win each day, become more efficient, but that's really as simple as it is. And eventually you'll start to put yourself out there and people will resonate with your ideas and they'll say, I also wanna be successful. I also wanna make a lot of money. I also wanna to go to President's Club. So how can you surround yourself with other people like that? And then how can you also go help other people? Because if you're so good at something that you can then help other people also be good at it, it will then lead to you being recognized as an expert you mastering whatever it is you're working on and you just generally feeling better about yourself because you know you're helping other people be successful. In conclusion, the five-step playbook to make multi six figures and take your special loved one or friend to President's Club is to begin by visualizing yourself on the trip, in that experience, taking them to that exotic destination, setting a very clear sales target, knowing your numbers, winning each and every day, eliminate complexity, and then give back and help other people. And then when I fast forward to, to getting fired from the same company I started my career at and of course contributed so much to, the lesson there is never define yourself. And this is advice to myself, I'm not telling you what you should do, but at least what I've learned through the self discovery phase is never define yourself by what exactly happens. Always be considering what you can accomplish in the future. So if I define myself by getting fired, then maybe that would limit my growth. If I define myself by, hey, I'm not able to run as far as I want to today, then maybe I'll lose confidence in running. It's all about finding purpose and meaning in the process and just enjoying the thing that you're doing. And when I got fired, I then moved to Colorado and I thought, hey, I wanna be a solopreneur. And then I realized by doing it, hey, this isn't actually what I wanna be doing. So I moved myself to Columbus, Ohio, 
hey, I wanna be around family, I wanna work in the family business. And I've learned by doing that this isn't necessarily what I want to be doing. It doesn't feel intuitive, I don't feel light. So I've been thinking about it, I'd say, who do I want to be? And I wanna work in tech, I wanna work in software. And that to me just feels like my purpose, my mission and what I want to be doing. So more on that to come, and I'm really excited about what's ahead. If you found value in today's video, subscribe to the channel now, and please enjoy this clip from Mia President's Club. Pacific Ocean in the background, multiplied by Pacifico, divided by sunglasses, equals results. When I read comments like this, it leads me to think that you are a fish in a large school of fish. You are swimming with the current. I was snorkeling in an exotic location yesterday, miles off the coast of Mexico. I was looking under the water and I can see the riptide along the coral reefs. And I see these large schools of fish, dozens of fish, all moving in unison. Meanwhile, in the corner of my eye, I see a bright blue fish. And that's the fish that I remember that the guy I was with. We said, that's the fish you wanna see. That's the fish that's swimming against the current. That's the fish that doesn't make fun of people on TikTok. That's the fish that stays late at work. Do you want to be the fish that follows the pack or do you want to be the fish that follows their own lane?